Today we're going to look at how to get page one rankings with AI optimized content using BIQ, an AppSumo deal currently available as a lifetime deal in the AppSumo store. Now BIQ has four different types of searches that you can do to write better content or generate, you know, better rankings, SEO. We've got keyword intelligence, content intelligence, rank intelligence, and I'm going to get to the negatives before we get into this actual tool. Rank intelligence is one of them. And then we have rank tracking, which is the second, you know, kind of negative that I will point out. Before we get started, let's look at the AppSumo page. This is an alternative to Ahrefs, SEMrush, and ClearScope. Now, I don't think it's a fair alternative. I mean, I think it's, you know, quite down the ladder because SEMrush, Ahrefs, all those tools, they command that high monthly fee that many SEO agencies and many people that do SEO willingly pay. Uh, those are very advanced tools. They have far more features, far more everything. But those tools are different today than they were back in the day. And BIQ is still very early in the process. So you're kind of getting in early, but there is definitely some inherent risk here with BIQ, especially in the sea of SEO tools. Now here we have single code stack, which is what I got. And you're only going to get these 7,500 total ranking discovery one-time credits. Uh, I think that's probably going to go quick the way that some of these credit systems work. And that is the big negative with this tool. Even if you stack it all the way to five codes, which if I end up liking this tool, I would do that. But uh, frankly, I got one code because I don't have a tool like this. And if you do, if you have a tool that does these types of things, if you look through like the content intelligence. Now down here, I want to point out one simple review real quick. This is a solo practice attorney. And uh, he says that the costs of keyword research tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush is pretty prohibitive. And I won't read you the whole review, but essentially he's actually saying that when compared to Uber Suggest and that lifetime deal, the five code stack here for virtually half the price, $245 versus $490, it's a significantly better value. So if we want to get started with BIQ, we can come up here and do a new intelligence. And then we've got our keyword intelligence tool. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm just going to click search and we're going to see what happens here. Now we know this is going to be a ridiculously competitive keyword. We also know that in general, there's going to be a fair amount of search volume. So there you go, 74,000, very competitive. And then we get the value score. And here it says higher valued keywords give you more traffic at lower competition. So this value score of 80 might be a little bit surprising. But at any time, we could research this in content intelligence by clicking there. And we'll do that here in a bit. Before we do that, let's look at what we get. So here's our keyword overview. It's the similar information as is in the table. But up here, we're going to see the keyword intents. So what we'll see is most people are looking for information here. People are trying to figure out how to make money online. Now, under content ideas, we're going to get different you know, types of search terms for ideas, you know, ways to make money. So one of the biggest ones that I think everyone's tried at some point is online surveys. You go take a survey, you make, you know, five cents and uh, you spend five minutes of your time, something like that. It's normally not a very good trade off of time to money, but you do make some money online. Now this volume, I think is important to point out for passive income ideas, we get 18,100 searches per month over a 12 month period. So that is the average over 12 months. So getting 18,000 searches per month is pretty good. If you were to rank number one for that, you would get quite a nice boost in the traffic for that page. Now let's come up here to popular questions. And we're actually going to get some popular questions. These are things that we can use inside our articles uh, or on our pages to make money online. How do you make an extra thousand dollars a month? Walk dogs. Now, under trending searches, we're going to get kind of some of the more trendy searches that have been trending up in recent, you know, I guess, history. And then we'll see, you know, everyone always wants to make money fast. It just doesn't happen. Uh, I personally, the AI Profits YouTube channel now is starting to generate a little bit of money, but it's going to be because of the 60 day return window with AppSumo and everything else. It's going to be several months before I actually get in here that money. Uh, so you can't really make money fast doing things like YouTube or affiliate marketing, things of that nature. And of course, there's exceptions to the rule. But as a general prognosis, this is a six month to a one year thing. So let's just do a quick brief. I'm going to add some keywords. We're going to create a collection here. 
And then let's click add new keywords to the collection. And then under content ideas, we'll add this to our collection as well. And then we'll jump to the popular questions. Now I'm just going to add all of these because I think uh, all of the questions, you know, the more questions you have, the better. And now we're entering the pro zone. So we have fully utilized the free tier. What does this mean? I'm not adding my billing information. I'm on the AppSumo deal. So let's take a look at that billing and budget. So I can have 200 collections tracked and I'm already at 107. That's kind of weird. What does that mean? So we've got the collections, 200 total items per month. So maybe I shouldn't be adding all those items to my collection like I'm doing where I just check all the questions. Probably not the best idea. Needless to say, I can delete those out, I believe. So we'll keep going. So now that we've done some keyword research, let's close that out and let's come to the content intelligence tool. And here I'm gonna do videos versus render forest. And we're gonna enter in my videos versus render forest blog article. And we're gonna go ahead and create a document here. And inside this document, it looks like it's doing some research for us for suggesting some keywords as well as some analysis, uh, readability, word count, semantic density, keyword density. We'll be able to analyze the content using word vector. And it also says edits needed. It's gonna bring up some edits for us. So here it has a breakdown, kind of paragraph by paragraph of my writing. Junior high school with no tone, postdoctoral. So where's this pulling this in? Uh, because that, to me, anyone should be able to read this part. This isn't that difficult, I don't think. I don't know where this is coming in from. Uh, this is a cool feature. I like the way this looks. I don't quite understand it myself. All right, I'm not really sure what's going on. It seems like the analyzed content is getting stuck. It's not really giving me anything for suggesteds. Maybe my article is not good. This is why I really honestly get so frustrated with SEO. While this does its thing, I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna come into rank tracking. And to get started, we need to create a new rank tracking profile so we can enter in AIprofits.com. Maybe this isn't gonna work the way that I thought it was. Let's go with one that I've actually done in the past. And here we're gonna track massage therapist Ocean Isle Beach. And let's go ahead and track this keyword. This would be like a local search term. Uh, this is probably a more real world scenario. We can see what it is generating and it's done its calculations. So now we can click the action. Here we can see the, the page from the website. We can see today's movement, one gain, average position two. Uh, we've got one gain on mobile as well, average position two. So if we search this in an incognito window, page results the second search right behind Yelp. And I'm not an SEO person, you know? I don't know how to use these tools, if I'm being honest. Hopefully this video is bringing you some value for that reason. You're being able to see kind of maybe if you're in the same boat as me. But we also get the SERP snapshot here, and we'll be able to tell uh, the search results for Massage Therapist Ocean Isle Beach. So here we can explore the data. I'm not exactly sure what we would do here, but we'd be able to look at different keywords so we could have all of our keywords in if we had multiple keywords and we could see the different trends here. But needless to say, that is rank tracking. And again, on AppSumo, you're going to be able to track a thousand total keywords on the uh, full stack. Or in my case, I can track a hundred total keywords. Now let's go back. This is still analyzing. This is kind of a disappointment. So far, this is not grading out too well, in my opinion. Uh, I'm just confused by it all. You know, I made a video on audit.io a couple of days ago. And in that video, I specifically said that it was ridiculously easy to use. It was almost too easy. Like I, that one felt too easy. This one, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. I'm feeling a little bit like confused. Uh, so this is kind of pointless at this point because it's not analyzing anything. And I don't know what's going on with my article. So in keyword intelligence, I'm going to run this search uh, videos versus render for us. And it says it did not return any keywords. And this just seems like, I don't know what's wrong. What is working? Maybe it's because I'm trying to make a video, but this is not doing too well. I am so confused right now. Let's do this search term and I'm going to turn on keywords everywhere. Videos versus render forest. And we're going to see what the search results are. 
uh, because I am like 99% sure. Yeah, it's got 40 search volume. I know, you know, I'm probably the worst person to be demoing this, but right here we'll see, this is actually me, uh, 10 key moments in this video. That's kind of cool. Have y'all ever seen that inside of Google? They're now giving, I didn't do any type of annotations. They're now doing like key moments inside the video. All right, we got some results for videos. And then look at that, the related keywords, render force free trials number two, but I'm very frustrated right now. So now let's look at, uh, before we get out of here, the rank intelligence. This is supposed to be the best feature here. Uh, it'll give us opportunities inside of our website. Let's go back to our spirit quest example. We'll create a new profile on them. Uh, I might end up using my credits here, you know, for something that I don't want to use my credits on. But here we're going to get all top 100 rankings, 311, estimated monthly traffic, 208. And we can look at different keywords. I don't know if I want to specify by keywords. Instead, I just want to create view. Maybe that's what I need to do, specify by keywords. But I kind of want them to tell me the keywords I'm ranking for and then give me the other potential keywords. So here we go. So let's go over this rank intelligence feature. And I want to remind you that these are one-time credits. Uh, so you can kind of do this once. And we've used 311 credits, I think, my understanding of it. Uh, but here under keywords, we're going to see the keyword. And then we're going to see the search volume, the competition. We're going to get a knowledge graph. We're going to get related searches, Google reviews, video and images. So let's actually do this Google search. We can click that button there and it'll do a quick Google search for us. Uh, and what we'll see is that they have a top search ranking. So that's pretty cool. And then down here, we'll also get people also ask. And at the bottom, related searches. So needless to say, it's going to tell you some of the information. And then we can track the actions at any time. So we can click track and we can add this to our rank tracking profile. And then over here, we're also gonna be able to do keyword intelligence, content intelligence, which just, you know, is not working, rank tracking as well. So we can track the ranks on these keywords. So this is kind of bringing the tool together a little bit, in my opinion, it's redeeming itself here. I think it has certain use cases. AI profits isn't one. My apologies. I feel like I've, I'm letting you down in this video uh, because I'm not, you know, perhaps bringing this or framing this in a way that is beneficial. Wouldn't you expect the massage, which we already did in this video to show up? Cause that was like a number two ranking and I don't see any, here's massage, but here it's giving us number 10. I guess that was massage therapist and this is massage. And let's come in and research it in content intelligence. And we'll go ahead and see if inside content intelligence, we can get a better result here. Uh, but you know, if you're buying this for the sake of AI profits, like frankly, I was buying this because as AI profits grows, I was like, this could be a tool that could help me. Well, maybe I should spend more time on actually writing the content and doing all that and worrying less time about, you know, tools like this. Uh, of course, this is a subject matter for this video, so it's not all lost in value, but uh, this is kind of disappointing. Let's go ahead and analyze the content here. Okay, so this is just not working. I paused the video for a bit, and it's just content intelligence. I don't understand what's going on here. It, very frustrating. I haven't made too many vid videos where I actually buy the product and I'm frustrated. Uh, this is one of them. So uh, needless to say, this is the tool. This is the tool in a nutshell. Let's take a look at my credits though. Today's uh, frustration point. Let's kind of see where we're at. Under keyword rank intelligence. We use 311 for that one little search. So that's gonna go like so quick. This might be like a refund for me. And I almost, I don't think I've refunded a single product in AppSumo, uh, but it's not even working. Uh, rank items tracked, we got three now. Uh, collection items. I, my apologies, I did not make the best video here. Uh, but with that said, this is my experience with the tool and I just wanna share it and get it online and hopefully it'll help someone. You know, I might've made some big flaws, you know, in this tool and the assumptions that I had for it because I thought 
hey, you enter in this, this search term, even if they're low volume search terms, it gives you, you know, using AI, it gives you relevant things. Uh, before I get out of here, let me actually show you what you can expect in like phrase. As an alternative, let's do the same search inside of phrase for videos versus render force. And let me show you the way that I expected BIQ to work. See how it's doing all of the analysis right here on the different URLs. And then it's gonna bring in the information that's necessary. You know, the alternatives and all of that information. And it's actually working. You know, I don't know what this is doing. Uh, it's just still spinning. Uh, this is the content intelligence. My guess is this is what phrase was supposed to kind of be like. And phrase is done. It tells me the average words I need, the headers, all of this, the information, as well as the topic score. Then I can come in here and I can get the different questions. And I can even get the related, which, you know, is a fantastic way to see a little bit more, I think, newer type of articles, you know, the actual related. If I wanted to import my URL here, I can process the URL and then I can import it and I can actually analyze what it's like against uh, where kind of where I should be. I need to add some keywords like online video maker, but here what we'll see is phrase, you know, I'm pretty close. I need to add more images, but that's the experience I expected would be IQ. That's not what I got. That's my experiences. Hopefully this video brought you some value. Like it if it did. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below if, you know, where I dropped the ball with BIQ, if you've had any experiences with it. Uh, for now, you know, I'm going to give it like a week, a plan around with it, and then I'm going to straight up refund it if I don't get the results or if maybe today it was just having a glitch. I, I don't want to refund it, but uh, at the same time, it looks like it's not going to produce any value for me. So hopefully this video brought you some value. My name is Scott with AIProfits.com, and we'll see you in the next one.